Chapter 10 Treasure Map Create a ritual for yourself to find treasure each time. Quote, to be satisfied with a little is the greatest wisdom, and he that increaseth his riches increaseth his cares. But a contented mind is a hidden treasure, and trouble findeth it not. Unquote. Akhenaton. We can follow the path. It might be straight. Hopefully not. But let's practice getting from A to B so that we can then get to C. From C, we'll see what else is around. Looking for a road map? How about a treasure map? Roadmaps are terrific for getting from point A to point B. The thing with meditation and creating is that although you think you're heading towards point B and you might end up there, often the most interesting and beneficial and fun can be a different destination. Meditation and creation are not math. It's not one plus one equals two. It's more like quantum physics where there are jumps and equations that seem to defy reality. See the chapter titled Dawn, for example. A treasure map. Below is a possible map. Call it a road map if you like. But I prefer treasure map, as there are possible jewels all along the way. At first, follow it as best you can, but... Once your confidence builds, stray from the path and let the explorer in you discover the unknown. 1. 4 p.m. Have your last meal of the day, ideally not too heavy. Water, too. Evening. Keep up the water intake. Don't overdo it, but drink more than you usually do, which is probably not enough. 3. Go to bed early. Two hours earlier than normal. Four, don't look at screens in bed, although an e-reader is okay. Ideally, listen to soft music and lull yourself into a meditative slumber. Five, plan your dreams and or meditation. Six, wake up early, see point number two, maybe two hours earlier than normal. Did you go to sleep two hours earlier than normal? Seven. Use the bathroom, have a glass of water or two, but don't do other stuff. For example, clean up, wash dishes, turn on any screens, check email, etc. 8. Set up your ritual for meditation. 9. Sit down. 10. Take a deep breath or several. 11. Reward yourself, congratulate yourself for having skipped dinner, drunk lots of water, gone to bed early, and woken up early. 12. Dig into your meditation. 13. Enjoy. 14. Immediately afterwards, write or record your findings. 15. Save that recording. 16. Start your day by 9 a.m. 17. Smile. The best part, in my humble opinion, is that you don't know what you're going to find. It's not like jogging where every single day is the same path and the same kilometers and you pass the same park or house or you know it all by heart. Sure, the steps are here, the path is similar, but it's the magical and the mystical and the unknown that make all of this worthwhile. That's the treasure, the unknown. If the treasure at the end of the map were always the same, I'm pretty sure I would have stopped meditating and maybe fasting and creating years ago. Yet, it stays different. In fact, it's exactly that difference that keeps me going and wanting more and to get better at it, more efficient at it. The word treasure map is light and fun and brings along images of pirates and deserted islands and palm trees and glittery treasure. 
What might your treasure be? That's the beauty. I won't know. I can't know. In fact, you might not know. Until you take action. My true wish for you is not to go just from A to B to C. It's to go from A to B to C. Possible? No map. Impossible? One map. Repossible. Treasure map. <laughs>